That vegan teacher's daughter is even more insane than the old bat herself. Doing things like roaming through supermarkets while carrying the skull of a deceased animal. But this is barely the surface of what we will cover in today's video. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Today's video is a little bit of a crazy one. We're going to be talking about a woman that is vegan and claims that taking your dog for a walk is animal abuse. Not really sure what she expects us to do then. I guess I'll just let my dog piss on my bed three times a day. But hold on a second, is, is that you on a skateboard making your dog pull you? Well, I think that's probably closer to animal a bit than taking your dog for a lovely peaceful walk, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, the person we're going to be talking about today is called Vegan Booty, aka Tash Peterson. Well, hang on, did you just say Vegan Booty? That's right, Jer, Vegan Booty. That's not a booty, that's the longest back I've ever seen. Oh, come on, Jer, that's kind of uncalled for, wouldn't you say? Yeah. You know, she's, she's trying to defend you, Jer. But that Vegan Booty is known for being an animal rights activist and a vegan, and she honestly just posts the most wholesome, family-friendly content I've ever seen. <laughs> so, Vegan activist pours blood and guts on herself. Oh, what a what a great piece of entertainment. Well, I can't wait to watch that later tonight while I'm eating a juicy ass steak and drinking a lovely glass of red wine. But surely, ladies and gentlemen, as a vegan, the last thing you'd want to do is cover yourself in animal blood and sheep guts. Seems a bit ass backwards if you ask me. Yeah, my suspicions were correct. There's definitely a couple of testicles in there. What? But I'm pretty sure uh, that probably sets the tone for today's beefy video, but don't think to yourselves, is that how bad it's gonna get? No, it's gonna get a whole of a hell of a lot worse. <laughs> You know, this crazy woman right here, she's not actually the vegan teacher's daughter, but that's what people refer to her as. But the difference between the two is that I don't think that vegan teacher poured blood in a fast food restaurant, walked through a supermarket holding the head of a pig, Are you responsible for this animal's death? Disrupted small businesses with dying animal noises. We have blood on your hands! Oh, no. okay. oh, and walks in public while being covered in her own period blood. I'm not really sure how, uh, you know, that fits in with the rest of her conversation, you know. Perhaps she just decided to do that one night after having one too many. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, haven't we, you know? Couple of drinks on a Friday night, out with the boys, you know, covering ourselves in vagina blood. <laughs> what a great night that was. But all of that, you know, it's just barely scraping the surface. She's been banned from her own city for causing too much chaos in public, and even crashed a kid's birthday party and started protesting. But everything I've mentioned up until now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be covering in this video. So get yourselves a five, guys, and enjoy. But I just want to say no hate to vegans at all. Vegans are not the problem. It's this complete horror show on our screens. You know, it's absolutely hilarious because this woman's efforts to try and convert people to vegan is actually doing the complete opposite. It's actually pushing people the other way. I do enjoy eating a bit of pork here and there, but after seeing this woman, I feel like consuming a whole pig. But this woman is just creating a very bad name for vegans, and it's unfortunate for all the morally sound vegans that are actually out there. This is not what veganism should be about. I mean, come on, carrying a dead lamb through coals. Have a day off, will you? Enjoy your floppy, flaccid cock whilst you continue being an animal abuser. But just how my videos usually go, things are going to start off nice and light, and then as we get further in, it's just going to get heavier and more sick. So since this woman claims to be so morally and ethically above us, well, maybe we could learn a few things. So let's take a look at the recent interview she done. My vegan Nike's on right now. They look like real animal skin, but they're made out of vegan alternatives, and we don't you, need to be... You're confident they weren't made with very cheap child labour? Well, they do claim that they're sustainable and ethical, so I try to live my life as ethically as possible. Unfortunately, it's impossible to be 100% cruelty-free in this very violent and non-vegan world. Right. Okay, so in essence, what you're saying is, is you would rather support children being forced to work and get paid pennies if it means you can save an animal's life. Ew, is that a fur coat you're wearing? Disgusting. You know you're wearing a dead animal, don't you? I didn't need no kill no animal to wear this. No, I just had a couple of child labor to get paid some pennies. I don't care what people say, all right? Human life should always be chosen above an animal's life. If I had to choose between a person or a sheep, I would obviously choose a person. I mean, what's a sheep gonna do? It's not like he's gonna stand on his back two legs and go make me a sandwich, is he? But regardless of her choosing an animal's life over a literal child, she actually, uh, you know, did something good for once. That's right, she stood in public and handed out her pressed milk. Coming to the market at the amazing price of 75p 
a litre. I mean, that is truly some BDSM shit right there. Standing practically naked in front of an art gallery with plastic suction cups and tubes attached milk in their breasts. I mean, what a sight to see. Might have a wank to that later. No, but seriously, right? What good is that doing for anybody? I mean, who's gonna look at this and think to themselves, Oh, just the contribution is truly inspiring. Yeah, John, hand me a spare breast pump. I want a piece of this. <laughs> truly some BDSM stuff right here, man. Being milked in public. Yes, please. I mean, you just wouldn't go that far, would you? You know, it's not as if the animals are gonna stand up and say, Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is technically a harmless protest, and there is another side to the agenda. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, how this can possibly make any sense at all. An animal rights activist crashing an event that raises money for animals in need. You silly cow. The event is called the Million Paws Walk, where people get together and walk their dogs through a park and raise money. Sounds like a really enjoyable experience for the dogs, right? You know, they get some exercise, they get to see their best friends. Well, no, not. Vegan booty wouldn't happy with this. She called it the most violent thing you could be a part of. <laughs> the most violent thing that you could ever participate in. So I don't care if I'm ruining their peaceful walk. You will not silence us until all cages are empty, until all animals are liberated. Oh, just, just look at her. Taking a wonderful event and making it all about her conversation. Do us a favor, have a Cumberland sausage and f off. But her whole conversation that she was forcing on this positive event is that why can't animals be treated the same as dogs? I don't think my grandmother would appreciate a cow sleeping at the end of her bed and having barely scratches on her living room rug. A, a dog is something you would want as a pet. A f***ing cow isn't. I mean, why on earth would I want a cow here? Can you imagine what that would be like? Whoa! F***ing hell, sir. Chill out. Whoa, 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 whoa. But her best idea yet was to walk through a supermarket holding the head of a dead pig. This one alone is one step away from becoming Michael Myers and turning that into a pig mask. It's you. You are responsible for hurting animals. My friends. My poor, fluffy friends. <laughs> Uh, no, and why on earth would I do that? It's not like they understand what I'm saying. What a waste of time that would be. My taste is worth more than your life. No, Curtis, don't Whoa, eat me. Yeah, I don't understand. Haha, <laughs> fool. Yeah. This is a dog eat dog world. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, let's just talk about how problematic this is for a second. She's literally walking around a supermarket with a dead corpse. Not just that, she's walking around with a JBL Bluetooth speaker playing dead animal noises off it. I mean, just look how many kids are around the place. I can't even count, there's just several. I'm gonna put them all on screen. There are several children in this supermarket right now. They won't be able to sleep tonight. Thankfully for you, you've traumatized them. And no, it's not gonna make them think to themselves, oh yeah, now I wanna save animals. You're walking around with a dead pig's head. Do you know that you're feeding your children animal abuse? Tell you what, I got an idea for you, vegan booty. Why don't you go to a, a slaughterhouse and have a word with them instead? Even someone that is actually vegan came over to you and told you that you're doing the wrong thing. And what did you say again? I'm vegan, Why would you do you're that? Not you're not helping the animals by not standing up for them. Oh, that's right, yeah. She's not standing up for the animals because she's doing nothing about it. Well, she's not eating meat. What more do you want from somebody? But thanks to Vegan Booty, the chickens are now happier. Have a look at this chicken. He looks really happy, doesn't he? he... Yeah, he just looks like a normal chicken. I don't think he really understands what's going on. But you know, disturbing the public peace was not enough. Instead, she had to go to small businesses and harass them instead. You pay for his butt off! Every time you eat! That's my property. You get, you get done for stealing. That's my property. Can you leave, please? Every time you eat! Right, all right, I get it, I get it, right? You're a vegan, and there's a butcher's, which is butchering animals. I get it. So if we want to go deep into it like you do, technically, you are disrupting and stopping somebody from making money 
which in return then, they cannot afford to put food on the table for their family. So you would rather that family starve so you can save your furry friends. Obviously I'm not deep in it that much, but that's how she's deep in it. You know, if you buy a steak, you're supporting animal cruelty, is what she's basically saying. Security ended up forcing her to leave that premises, and you know, if you want to get your message across, <laughs> this, <laughs> this isn't the way to do it, love. But no, this didn't just happen the one time, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. The next day, she went into McDonald's holding a 40-inch plasma 4K quality TV with animals getting abused on it. I mean, honestly, just have a day off, will you? But before we watch the clip, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you all to subscribe to the channel because we're on 92,000 subscribers right now and we're almost at 100k and we're trying to get there before the end of the month. And the quicker we get there, the quicker I get to prove to my mum that I can finally succeed on YouTube. So if you do want to join the family and see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. Thank you very much to all of you that done that. Welcome to the family. Let's get involved. How does this make you feel? Me is me the day. How does it make you feel? <laughs> Get owned. How does this footage make you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like, what do you expect people to do? Do you expect them to get down on their hands and knees for you and be like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I, I stopped eating meat forever. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. You're standing in the middle of McDonald's on a 4K television playing animals being abused on it. People just want to eat their food. They, they have no idea who you are, you f***ing crazy woman. We're just here to show you that there, there is an alternative. You don't have to be contributing to these industries. And we're just... Oh, there are alternatives. Yeah, yeah. Like the vegan trainers you're wearing that could have possibly been made by children forced into labour. You do realise you don't have to contribute to these industries, right? There are alternatives. Absolute coward, honestly. And in the next clip, she's back better than ever. This time, ladies and gentlemen, she's walking through the supermarket carrying a dead lamb in her arms. Jesus, what's happening to the world? Oh, there's the television again. How the f*** do they manage to carry that around? I, I do wonder, you know, I do have some questions. Just not about being vegan. <laughs> Surely as a vegan, the last thing you'd want to see is a dead animal. Like, doesn't, isn't that the thing that makes vegans upset? So, wh why are you doing it then? I mean, you know, the lamb is already dead, so would it be such a bad thing if, you know, if we just ate it? But again, this doesn't exactly make me want to convert to vegan. And neither does going to KFC and pouring red dye everywhere while playing dead animal noises through a speaker. A few moments later. Okay. People here trying to do their work. Okay. So, here you, work. you have dead animals over there, mate. Yeah, go on, police officers, get her out of there. Take her to jail. With all due respect, all right, but nobody gives a shit. They've all got jobs to do, just as the police officer said. People are just trying to work. A peaceful protest is fine. You can stand in the street with a megaphone as much as you want. But going into businesses and vandalizing it and disrupting people from doing their jobs... That's a bit far, isn't it? But this, ladies and gentlemen, isn't half as bad as the drama that she caused for a family-run restaurant. These vegan activists completely stormed into the restaurant, once again blasting dead animal noises and screaming. Get out! You're responsible for their murder if you're not vegan! And their blood is on your hands! Animals want to live! Animals want to live! Watch Dominion on YouTube for the truth! I mean, what a scene, honestly. What is this achieving exactly? Do they think that people are going to stand up, come outside and shake their hands for doing such a good job at disturbing their night? No. I mean, look at her sitting on her high and mighty stool, talking about animal abuse. I swear, from the beginning of this video, didn't we see some sort of suspicious clip of you making a dog pull you on a skateboard? But it's pretty simple, to be honest. If I was in this restaurant, I would honestly just get up and leave. Like, I'd just get up and leave. I don't give a shit. I'll get up and leave, and then I'll come out of the restaurant, and she'll be like, Oh, you know you abuse animals, right? Fuck off, I don't want to talk to you. I get in my car. But you, 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 you are killing animals! You stabbed an animal in the throat! Fuck off, Philly, you tat. One of a chicken curry, I just... 
back off. Jordan, stand for ladies and gentlemen, you know, I have no problem with a vegan coming up to me and saying, oh, why do you choose to eat meat? Well, I choose to because I enjoy meat, okay? Well, I do actually disagree with your choices. However, it's not up to me to force my agenda on you and completely harass you. So I just don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for understanding. We can part ways now. Simple. If, you know, if you don't want to be friends with someone who eats meat and you're a vegan, totally fine. But this, this is f***ing insanity. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, she showed up a second time to the same restaurant. And this time, the owner really lost his cool. <laughs> Smash him up, Jeff! You'll be done for assault, mate. Yes, yeah, enough. <laughs> that's it. That's it right there. You'll be done for assault, mate. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> and I don't blame him for losing his cool, to be honest with you. I mean, they are literally coming to his family-run business that he runs and literally harassing people in their restaurant. I don't blame him for losing his cool. I would lose my cool too. But regardless of all the jokes, ladies and gentlemen, this woman didn't just disrupt the family-run business. No, 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 no. They actually caused a separation between the owner and his girlfriend. Oh, how did that happen, you might be asking? Well, it's because of all the stress and publicity that this silly woman was bringing to their restaurant. She couldn't handle it anymore, and the owner thought he was going to marry this girl one day. So she's potentially broken up a love story in the making. So, good job. Hope you're proud of yourself, silly cow. I lost um, my partner because of this. I thought I was going to marry this woman, and she just couldn't handle the amount of attention. She's a very private person. I mean, how miserable do you have to be? There's no winning with this vegan booty, is there? <laughs> Ironically, there actually isn't. What's the one place in this world, ladies and gentlemen, that actually does help animals? A veterinarian. <laughs> well, of course, knowing the vegan booty, she wasn't very happy with that. Yeah, that's right, you heard me correctly, ladies and gentlemen. She stormed into a vet clinic and claimed that they were abusing animals because they had a budgie outside in a cage. <gasps> I mean, I know they've medicated several cats and saved several dogs' lives and probably looked after your guinea pig a couple of times, but I just want to know something, right? Who's that? Who's that budgie out there in a the cage, bud? Huh? Is that yours? You disgusting animal abuser. I mean, here's the budgies in question. They seem pretty happy to me, you know. They're not roasting in the sun or anything. They've got nice coverage and, yeah, she just decided, you know, she's pissed off with it again. Not understanding why a veterinary clinic is advertising animal slavery. It's not animal slavery and I appreciate your opinion and that's your opinion. I know, but surely there's a better option for them to be in a bigger cage where their needs are met rather than just advertising they're not slavery. They're advertising, they are actually out but there enjoying the weather and I would like you to leave, please. Yeah, exactly, do you know what I mean? Like, it's plain and simple, they're enjoying themselves, what's your f***ing issue like? It's like if I've got a cage outside and I've got a couple of lovebirds in there and somebody comes up to me and goes, why are you keeping those birds in a cage for? Why, why are you enslaving them? Well, if I fucking open the door, they're going to fly away and get eaten by a seagull. What do you mean? I mean, can you not, like, agree with anybody? <laughs> it's like she's got a stick up her ass. Do you know what I mean? Like, just miserable 24-7, got a problem with everything. But the good news is, is that the veterinarian and the restaurant owner is actually taking legal action against this woman. Thank God. So as I said already, guys, being vegan is absolutely fine. But when you go out of your way to disturb other people's peace and quiet, it's like, have you not got anything better to do? If a vegan comes up to me and expresses to me the benefits of being vegan and how it's positively impact their lives, I'm more likely to transition to vegan then. Not f***ing screaming at me through a megaphone, playing dead animal noises and holding a goose over your shoulder. But comment down below, guys. What do you think of this woman? I really want to know what you guys think. And if there are vegans watching, thanks, guys, for not being like this woman. Because we really respect you on this channel. Thank you for not being like her. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos. They're pretty awful. Awfully funny. So check them out, guys. Thank you very much.